His Midsummer Night's Madness, his greatest nightmare, of course, was a site visit inspection by former students who had now gone on to their own greatness. In fact, during troubled dreams, he was heard to shout at a retreat frequent, uh, recently, out damn spot on this infernal sonogram because Pelson is in charge of the site visit. <laughs> Thank you, I think. You know, I realize how easy it is to come up here and make light of Bob English. It's not difficult at all, but I... I, 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 I now, really, I have, a, I have a few very serious things I wish to tell you. I think they're very significant in the career of R.H. English. But before I do that, I have to tell you a little bit about myself. The first thing is, I'm Rod Pelson. Ro I'm Rod Pelson. Ro now I know. I remember. Uh, pardon you, me, ladies and gentlemen. You just and I were, here. We were the first students. Remember the first students. Anybody know this fool? I'm Daryl Anderson. Daryl Anderson. Anderson. <laughs> There's another one. It's Steve. Steve McFarland. Steve McFarland, ladies and gentlemen. The first three graduate students in the program. I'm sorry that we came up and, and interrupted, but this, I haven't, how have you been? I've been wonderful. What have you been doing? What? What? I've been ranching down in Nevada. You know, ranching. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? What do you do? I'm a cement contractor. <laughs> I took a short course one summer, and I learned how to build rock walls and cement walls and that sort of thing. Rake leaves. <laughs> what are you doing I, I am a cement... I, no, I'm not a cement contractor. I'm a Simca repairman. <laughs> I started out with... I have to do Studebakers and Packards now as well. You do those in your spare time? That's right. You, you learned that from English, I take it. Uh, I learned something from English, too, about that. That's how I got into ranching. It was a famous cry, Hi-ho, Simca, away. <laughs> I remember that. And I, uh, I remember, you know, uh, working with English in the area of voice has really helped me because I raise ponies, you know, and they're always a little hoarse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it changed. What are you guys planning to do now? Well, I, I'd kind of like to get back into the field. I, I've been thinking about it. You I, too. Well, just the other day. That? Things that he That's taught us really still hold true today, and I can remember, this is That's a uh, uh, brake hose off of one of the Simcas, but I can remember him standing up in front of the, the group saying, now this is the nose hose, the major listening tube, and you simply place one end in your ear, and have the child go sissy, 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 sissy. oh, oh, no, this end goes, but he actually did this in front of the group. Speaking of English, do you remember, he was always kind of eccentric in his teaching methods, and you remember, do you remember that, that good-looking blonde that he locked out of voice and diction one day? That's right. Who, who was that? Who was that good-looking blonde that he locked out? I think she's sitting right over there. Yeah, what's her name? Was that good-looking blonde, please stand up. <laughs> Linda English. That's right. Linda English. His own daughter. Locked his own daughter out of voice and diction because he showed up a couple minutes late. She rode with the guy. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get back into the profession. I've decided it's about time, and I've all those years, I've kept my speech bucket. I have, ladies and gentlemen, and I and I've got a few few choice stimulus phrases for the kids. I remember distinctly in clinic 301 or something like that. Bob English saying, you've got to get these kids to talk. You've got to get them excited. He said, do things like, Lord love a duck. <laughs> or, God's bread. <laughs> or perhaps, good night nurse. <laughs> I think the one thing that needs to be clarified tonight is that when he stands up a little bit later, if he's able, you'll notice that one hand is longer than the other. At one point, for how long was it? A month? A few oh, months? Month. He carried around a briefcase with bricks in the bottom of it that one of the students had put in there, and it can only be told tonight that that was Joan McMahon. <laughs> it wasn't us. He thought it was us that put the bricks. It wasn't us. <laughs> and she gave the man bursitis. <laughs> I think we've done enough harm for one evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 